Made me feel like you ain't never had it. Scratching you out like you already lasted. Turn around, poke it out so I can grab it. Flip that ass over like we in gymnastics. You nasty, period. Turn me on a little bit, girl. Nah, for real, y'all folks already know what the fuck going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say, bitch, is y'all ready for another motherfucking story time? Because, bitch, I'm going to tell y'all folks another motherfucking story time. I seen this little, I, I don't know, I want to call it a trend. I don't know. But I seen, you know, a lot of YouTubers, I seen them doing this story time of their worst ass whooping, their worst spanking, their worst ass beating. So, Taco finna get in on that, you did what I'm saying? Um, If you follow me on Instagram, you seen not too long ago, I posted something about like, this one lady was basically saying like, how black people, when we discipline our children, we take it a little too goddamn far. Do I agree with that? Fuck yes. Because some of y'all be beating y'all kids like they fucking farm animals. And bitch, I will not be one of those parents. Um, I can't speak on somebody else's child. I can't I can't tell you how to raise your child. You did what I'm saying? Before I get into the story time of my worst ass whooping, I just wanna I just wanna throw that out there. Taco, I cannot tell somebody how to raise that kid. That ain't my goddamn kid. I didn't carry them from nine months. I didn't push them out my pussy. That ain't my child. What what that Michael Jordan mean be saying? Fuck them kids. <laughs> but that's not my child, you know what I'm saying? I see it in public when I'm at fucking Walmart, just trying to give me some little pads, some little tampons. I be on a tampon aisle, and I see little Ray Ray getting his ass beat. Now, do I say like, ugh, relax, lady, you don't have to beat him like that? No, because then that bitch gonna come and beat me the same goddamn way. And little Ray Ray, I be damned to take your ass whooping for you, so... Taco minds her business, period. Do I feel like black people, do I feel like we overdo it? Yes and no. I feel like you have to, oh shit. <laughs> Bitch, I don't know because I don't have kids. You know what I'm saying? I can't really speak on something if, if I haven't experienced it. That's how I feel. Don't speak on something that you're not fucking going through. Bitch, you don't know. You get what I'm saying? Like like when, when certain folks of certain colors be trying to, trying to speak on how black people get treated bitch you not going through it so don't fucking speak on it rebecca you did what i'm saying so anyway <laughs> that was just something else i decided to throw in there but not nah, for real um i feel like it depends on the situation now i seen one video one man was beating his daughter like a fucking pinata at a goddamn quinceanera he was going in and, you know, when I got the backstory to it, I don't know if that was the real backstory. You know, people can make anything up. It's the fucking internet. The backstory was basically she was having sex and she's a 12-year-old. <laughs> Let me find out my little 12-year-old girl or boy having sex. Bitch, <laughs> I'm going to put, I'm going to hike them motherfucking pants up. I'm like, you want to have sex like you grown? You finna fight me like you fucking grown, period. Because, bitch, you're 12. Why? What? <laughs> no. Other scenarios you know, a little telling a lie or, you know, even saying a curse word, but on accident, getting in trouble at school. Do I feel like you got to beat your child? Like, take care of them, beat the case? No, bitch, relax. Like, you know, that was just my little prologue before I got into how my mama beat my ass. So, yeah, take what you will. Bitch, if you don't take nothing, I don't give a fuck. Get off my YouTube. How about that? Ha! <laughs> Let's get into this story time. My worst ass whooping. Whoo. <laughs> bitch, I was 11 years old. I remember this fucking day. I was 11 years old, bitch. And at this time, Taka was not a dyke. No, Taka was a dyke. My my parents didn't know and I didn't know yet, but Taka was a dyke. So like I always tell y'all, I was a little boy when I was younger. I didn't like dresses. I didn't like staying in the house playing with dolls. I didn't want an easy crop bake set. I don't want to do that. I don't want to play dress up 
I don't want to do doll's hair. I don't want to be in a kitchen cooking, whipping up. Bitch, no, I don't want to do none of that. I want to go outside with the niggas, run around, play fucking tag football and shit. Whoa, bitch, I, I want to be outside. So, Taco was always outside. I used to get my ass beat sometimes for being outside too much. I, I didn't give a fuck if it was the fucking forthcoming of jesus bitch i want to be outside <laughs> i don't give a fuck what's going on out here i don't give a fuck if it's armageddon bitch i'm outside like this right here <laughs> yeah 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 like bitch i want to go outside like i don't give a fuck i was just always one of them kids like no matter how many times my mama told me you cannot go outside today taco little ass ended up outside now this day in fucking particular should should i have went outside no but bitch I did anyway let me tell y'all so i don't know what the fuck was going on it was either some type of family reunion we probably was about to go out to eat i don't know but taco was bedazzled bitch i was dressed the fuck up like my mama had me casket ready bitch like she probably had me dressed like that because she knew she was gonna have to kill me that fucking day and that's what she did but listen so my mama had me in this big turquoise ass Easter dress, bitch. I'm running around looking like the little, you know, the marshmallow peeps that they only release during Easter. That's what the fuck I look like. A little duck ass, little peep, little bitch. So dress about bigger than me, bitch. I had on one of them goddamn John Bonet dresses. Like, you know, the little pageant girl dresses. Bitch, I felt like I was going to get on somebody's runway and be like, Whoa. like, bitch, I just like a pageant girl. Like, dress bigger than me brightest shit it was like an easter dress real shit so i was just you know fucking bedazzled bejeweled bitch whatever the fuck you want to call it dressed to the t like i don't even know what that means what does that mean dressed to the t what how are you dressed to a t like t like a t-shirt t like the letter t t like the drink dressed to a t bitch anyway dressed to the t <laughs> is it t am i saying it right am i saying the expression Anyway, dress to the T, dress to the P, bitch, whoever. Dress to the T for taco. Hey, lad. So, I was fucking lit. Like, I didn't like it, but I knew I looked fucking good. You get what I'm saying? Like, my mama had my hair all curled, had me looking like a little girl. You know the little socks that roll up? Bitch, I'm trying to put my leg up and show y'all. Oh, y'all got on pants this time. Anyway, y'all know the little, the little Girl Scout cookie socks? Like, it look like you about to go to somebody's door and be like, Girl Scout cookies, come and get your cookies. Girl Scout cookies. Like, bitch... I wouldn't do that so i just look fucking stupid like <laughs> you know the little ruffled socks bitch if i have a daughter oh my daughter gonna hate me because bitch you're gonna be a child child you're not gonna be one of these little kids out here that they mama putting them in some slutty shit just to get some instagram likes no my baby gonna be a child child bitch i'm gonna put your little ass in the big ass bowls that you get from the fucking beauty supply anyway bitch stay on track okay so my mama had me dressed up bedazzled bejeweled dressed to the t over with like i don't know what we was doing this day but it was important because the way i was dressed it was important bitch it was probably like an inauguration i don't know oh, so anyway like them all cute smelling good looking good ready to go my mama wasn't dressed yet though so after my mama finished getting me dressed she said go downstairs sit your ass on that couch and don't get up don't eat nothing don't touch nothing don't don't do anything just sit on the couch and wait for me she said your daddy outside he washing the car sit down like i remember these instructions because listen my mama was so serious and taco did not take her serious and that's why taco got her ass beat so anyway after my mama gave me these fucking blueprint ass instructions i went downstairs like this right here <laughs> bitch i went to that motherfucking front door i seen my daddy outside watching the my oh y'all listen we we weren't a normal family <laughs> my parents it's six of us i'm the last i'm the baby i have how many sisters i got okay I, <laughs> bitch i can't count i'm forgetting how many sisters i got i got three sisters two brothers i'm the last i'm the baby so we always had vans because it was so many of us and my my parents was like i'm not gonna crowd y'all up in no car it's too many of y'all motherfuckers like we gonna get vans so we had big ass fucking brady bunch vans riding around like this right here yeah looking like fucking kidnappers big ass vans so so anyway my daddy was outside washing the van and I'm in the front door looking. <laughs> I'm like, mm. <sighs> got this. This my this my crackhead itch. When I'm supposed to when I want to do something, but I know I'm not supposed to do it. This is my crackhead itch. I'm at a door like this. I'm like, mm. yeah. You think he needs some help, bitch? I think he needs some help. 
You see that one spot right there? He keep missing. He keep missing that. You see that shit too? He keep missing that goddamn spot. Yeah. You want God though? Bitch, yes. Went outside like that right here. Bitch, I'm outside. I'm in my dress. Dress flowing, bitch. I feel like fucking Ariel from the Little Mermaid. Dress flowing. Fucking flippers flapping. I'm like, hey, daddy. He said, hey, where your mama? I said, she's still getting ready. He said, okay. He said, well, we'll just stay up there on the porch. Because I'm on the porch. I didn't come all the way down. I'm on the porch. He said, stay up there on the, on the porch. I said, all right. Taco want to get her ass in that little water, bitch. When I said I felt like Ariel from The Little Mermaid, literally, bitch, I love water. I can't swim, but I love some fucking water. Anything dealing with water, put me in it, bitch, because I'm going to learn how to swim. You did what I'm saying? So I see him washing the van, and I'm just standing on the porch itching, like itching to come down the fucking steps like a little crackhead. And I'm just like, fuck, like, I really want to go play with that water hose. My daddy said, go in there and get me a towel. So I went back in the house, shpoom, came back with the towel. I'm like, hmm. He said, you got to come down the steps, like, bring me the towel. Motherfucker, you just, I was one of them little hard-headed ass, them little kids who did too much. You know when you be like, stop damn talking. And they stop talking. And then when they ask you a question, they be like, so you don't hear me talking to you? I was one of them kids that used to be like, you just told me to stop talking. And just a smart ass. Well, I used to get my ass toe up. Because I, I have a smart ass fucking mouth. Like, Jesus. So anyway, came back with the towel. My dad said, come down the steps and bring me the towel. I said, you just told me to, to stay on the steps. <laughs> like You're trying to set me up. Like, now you're going to beat my ass because you think I'm being smart. But in reality, I'm, I'm doing what you told me to do. You did what I'm saying? So anyway, came down the steps, gave him the towel. He said, all right. He said, huh, hold this water hose. He said, if you want to use it, spray the tires, that's it. Don't do no goddamn acrobatic fucking cartwheels. Because, bitch, whenever you gave me a water hose, who? <laughs> bitch, I become a fucking a Jedi. Like, bitch, I got a lightsaber, bitch. I'm out here. <laughs> I am your father. Fuck is he talking about? Like, losing my mind with a water hose. So my daddy said, spray the tires. Don't do anything else. Don't go anywhere. Don't walk anywhere. Don't spray anything but these tires. And, you know, Taco is one of them kids. You have to give me specific directions because, bitch, I will find a loophole in that motherfucker. And I'm going to be like, well, he didn't say spray the tires. He really said spray the tires. But in my mind, I heard spray the tires, which means spray the whole van period bitch <laughs> like bitch are you slow like just listen for a second taco doesn't listen i don't give a fuck <laughs> so i'm spraying the tire i'm like man this shit warm i want to do some more like bitch i want to i want to wash the van for real wanna... but like the way i'm like maneuvering my body the way i'm moving around to hit all four tires slowly but surely that goddamn boa constrictor ass water hose is wrapping around my goddamn leg. And, oh shit. <laughs> Bitch, it's wrapping around my leg. I just got dizzy. Turned the goddamn fan on, got hot and shit. So, as it's wrapping around my leg, I'm not paying attention. I'm listen, Taco's out there having the time of her life. Bitch, I'm out there like hmm. <laughs> like going in so i'm like man fuck this like i'm really gonna just do the whole van so shh i started spraying everything spraying the van spraying the window spraying the tires bitch i'm spraying the mailbox the mailbox ain't got shit to do with this van but bitch i'm spraying it i'm watering these goddamn plants i see wasp and dragonflies y'all know i'm allergic to wasp a wasp sting me over with i'm dead i'm spraying a wasp i'm like uh-uh get the fuck away little wasp <laughs> spraying everything so as i'm doing this like I said, the boa constrictor holes wrapped around my goddamn leg. So I finally realized it and I'm trying to like push it down and take it off my leg. Y'all, the fucking water holes, like I drop it. <sighs> Somehow, this goddamn water hose, it lands on, you know, like the handle part that you squeeze to make it go. It lands on the handle part. Bitch, as I'm bending over trying to goddamn, you know, goddamn get the shit off my leg, it lands on the goddamn spray part. <laughs> bitch dying like drowning <laughs> bitch i cannot breathe like water holes fuck my face up this water hose was nutting <laughs> nutting like in my face like i'm just like this is some movie shit like like the, now that i'm older and i think about it that was some cartoon shit because how how the fuck in any goddamn dimension any galaxy any fucking parallel universe did this possibly happen? How, how is this even logical? What in the actual fuck? How? How did it? Bitch, 
bitch, let's let me let me just take a minute from telling this goddamn story. Let me goddamn let me dissect this. If I'm pushing the water hose off of my leg and I drop the water hose and it lands on the squeezy, you know, the trigger. Bitch, that shit must have had a motherfucking hair trigger for it to go off like that. Like, damn, bitch, what the fuck is a, a Beretta? A Uzi, bitch? Bitch, I let that goddamn water hose go. And I'm bending over, so the way it landed, it just like, who? Who? Like, bitch, good ejaculation in my face. I said, oh. And, bitch, as this is happening, I'm low-key drowning. My daddy on the other side of the van, so he don't know that his daughter is on the other side of the van standing up but drowning can you do you understand can you even explain that to a coroner who what are you supposed to tell the where, what are you supposed to tell the news people yes channel 5 action news we're here at the location where um the little boy girl somehow drowned while helping her father wash the van sir sir how, how, how did this happen sir my daddy gonna be like you know <laughs> the fucking meme with the boy that's what I mean, my daddy. Because he don't fucking know neither. God damn it. My daddy just as lost as I was. So listen. Y'all, all together, I don't know how the fuck I did that. But that water hose fucked my little ass up. Knocked the curls out my goddamn head. Like, that water hose, that water pressure was so strong. Bitch, like, after it finally cut off, I could see stars and shit. I'm like, I got powers. Bitch, this water hose then woke up my goddamn conscience. Bitch, I can see the fucking, I can see spiritual healings, bitch. I can look at you, and I can tell when you gonna die. Like, that's how fucking powerful that goddamn water hose. You know when you rub your eye too much, you start seeing fucking, <laughs> bitch, what is that? Like, bitch, fucked up. I said, damn, Mr. Water Hose. Like, bitch, I'm calling on Jesus. I'm like, hello, yes water hose jesus what the fuck was that bitch i i don't even have to call you because actually i'm outside the gate open the goddamn gate you really this really how you gonna let me go out like really don't no, no shut up let me talk the only reason i'm here water hose jesus is because this is how you let me go out i'm 11 i didn't even get to live my goddamn life yet i went out over a water hose put me back Put me the fuck back. Put me back in the same family and the same goddamn body. Because, bitch, I need a redo. I got my ass beat by a water hose. Fuck no. Put me back, bruh. I finally get my face from over the water hose, bitch. I don't even know how, but somehow I guess water hose. Jesus, he heard my prayers. He said, all right, little bitch, get your, get your stupid slow ass up out of here. Put, ah, shit. So, as soon as the water hose stopped, goddamn nothing in my face, I got down, come around the truck to my daddy. I'm wet, bitch. You know when you wet as fuck and you uncomfortable? Like, you not wet because you had fun. You're uncomfortable. You're mad. You want to change. Bitch, I walk around the goddamn van like this. <laughs> wet as fuck. That nigga started laughing. I'm looking up at him. I said, I dropped the water hose. And it, it sprayed me. My daddy said, go in the house. Just, just go in the house. I said, I bet. Went in the house. Now, like I said, my mama was still fucking somewhere. I guess my mama was in her room. I don't know. My mama in her room getting ready. I'm soaking fucking wet. Now I'm literally Ariel, the little mermaid. Like, bitch, you want to be a mermaid so bad? You're one now, bitch. Bitch, actually, you look like a swamp monster. Because your hair all fucked up. You got twigs and shit, leaves and shit, dirt, mud. Bitch, Georgia Clay. If you live in Atlanta, you know that goddamn Georgia Clay. That shit don't come out for nobody, bitch. I don't give a fuck if you wash that with goddamn Mr. Clean. That shit ain't coming out. I go in the house. I hear my mama in the shower. I said, hi, right, fuck. Bet. I gotta figure this shit out. I gotta, I gotta figure this shit out. I'm nervous and scared. Bitch, I go in the bathroom. Hair fucked up, bitch. I'm surprised I got them. That water hose ain't blow my goddamn muffin cap back blue. Because, bitch, my hair fucked up. And, you know, I'm black. <laughs> so, you know, you remember your mama used to press your hair out with the hot comb on the stove? Bitch, over with. You you make the slightest amount of sweat transpire over with. That little press, that shit is turning back into chest hair. Y'all know I have, I have nappy hair. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I'm proud of it. I'm nappy and happy. But my goddamn hair, bitch... The slightest amount of sweat, that shit turns back into pubic hair, period. Like, bitch, uh-uh, be the beads. That little press out that I had, bitch, I was in there looking like Don King. I said, fuck! 
<laughs> bitch, I ain't say fuck, but you know, like as a little kid, you you just damn <laughs> shit, bitch, scared. I said fuck, bro. I'm looking in the mirror. I said, oh my god, I'm gonna get my ass beat. Like you already know you you just, you sometimes you just accept it. Sometimes you can't do anything but just accept it. Like I'm gonna get my ass beat. Like fuck it. So I'm standing in the mirror. <sighs> bitch, I started crying. You know, like, when you cry and you're looking at yourself cry, it makes you cry more because you're just like, bitch, you so pathetic. <laughs> bitch, look at you. What are you crying for? You cry, baby, bitch. You're so pathetic. You're a loser. You're like, just making yourself feel even more worse for crying. I'm like, damn, I'm already crying. Why am I talking shit about myself? That's what I was doing. I was like, you look so stupid. Your hair's ugly. Look at you. Your snaggle tooth. You're missing teeth. Your dress is dirty. You got dirt right here. How did you get dirt right there? Bitch, going in as a little kid. Like, I'm a little kid, but I'm going in on myself. Bitch, I'm crying. I said, fuck this. I went back outside. I said, fuck it. I can't do anything. I can't fix my hair. I can't fix my dress. I'm soaking wet. I can't do anything. I went back outside. I said, fuck that. I went outside. I was sitting on the other side of the van with my daddy. So you can't see me. So my mama, whew, my mama come out, come out to the front door. She stepped on the porch. She said, where? She said my name. My daddy ain't hear her because he had the water hose going. So she called my daddy name. <laughs> she yelling. Listen, if my mama got to call you more than once, you finna get your ass beat. Like that's just an ass beating right there. Like I had to call your name more than once. Go get my belt. Damn. I can't hear fuck <laughs> i got earwax let me clean the earwax out give me another chance call my name now i heard you fuck <laughs> no fuck that she gotta call your name more than once that's an ass whooping so she called my daddy name again she said where is say my name my daddy said she right here i looked up at my daddy i said you snitch bitch i didn't say that but i'm thinking it i'm like nigga Help me, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> you know, fucking Kevin Hart voice. I said, fuck. My mama, she didn't see me because like I said, I'm on the other side of the van. She said, she's talking to me. She said, didn't I tell your ass not to go outside? I said, yeah. She said, get your ass in this fucking house. You know, your mama, when she pressed her teeth together. Ooh, woo, bitches, an ass whooping coming your way <laughs> in theaters now. Fuck is he talking about like? She said, get your ass in this fucking house. <sniffs> Bitch, I took my time coming around from that van. Cause like I already knew. Y'all, y'all just you just know when you finna get your ass beat. And you know it's gonna be one of them ass whoopings that you really do not want to feel right now. Because, bitch, you woke up having a lovely day. Now you finna go to hell. I took my time coming around from that van. I'm like, oh sh she said, get your ass in this fucking house. Bitch, it took me a good little minute to get over there. All you heard was <laughs> Slow it fuck. She said, hurry up. <laughs> Stepping up the steps. <laughs> I raised my head. I looked at her. She said, what the fuck? What, what did you do? I said, daddy told me help me wash the van. My daddy looked at me. He said, I did not tell you that. I said, fuck, <laughs> help me, nigga, shut up. Like, take the blame a little bit. Like, you ain't got to take the whole blame. Just take a little bit. Like, get some of this ass whooping up out and get, get it off of me. Like, help me. My daddy said, I did not tell you that. <sighs> I looked at my mama, I looked at my daddy. She said, what did I tell you? I said, you told me to sit on the couch and don't do nothing, don't touch nothing, don't eat nothing. And she said, and what did you do? I came outside. Why did you come outside? I was helping daddy. <laughs> Boy, my mama grabbed my fucking arm. Because one of my shoes was missing. I forgot to mention that. One of my shoes had came off in the midst of me getting my ass beat by the water hose. So, bitch, basically, I took two L's in one day. I got my ass beat by the water hose. Got my ass beat by my mama. One of my shoes came off. My mama grabbed my arm. She took me back down the steps over there. She said, pick your fucking shoe up. <laughs> bitch mad sad like what you what you mad for bitch you caused this like what are you mad for 
My mama said, you don't, but you so fucking hard-headed. You just like your goddamn daddy. Now my dad just standing there looking, because he like, bitch, I ain't hard. <laughs> oh, looking like, can you please help me? Please get me up out of this fucking situation. Like, please, yeah, she bro. she bought me to get my shoe. My mama said, Mwah! hit me in my back. I said, what the fuck? Here it go. I already knew it was going to fucking start. I said, she's going to beat my ass all the way back up these goddamn steps. So I pick up my shoe. She just hitting me as I'm walking. I said, what the fuck? God. So she grabbed my arm. Whoo, let me tell you where I fucked up. When she grabbed my arm that second time, I pulled away. Because, bitch, <laughs> listen, listen. I was pulling away because, bitch, my adrenaline is rushing. I'm scared. You're grabbing me and hitting me and yelling at the same time. Do you know how much is going through my goddamn head right now? I'm 11. <laughs> bitch, I'm scared. My body is reacting in a way that I don't understand. So, bitch, I have now. <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> bitch, scared as fuck. Oh, so you just snatched away from me. She's like, all right. You want to snatch away? Let me tell y'all what my mama did. My mama picked up the water hose that caused all this goddamn bullshit in the first place. My mama picked that water hose up. I said, ah! What the fuck? Get in my ass beat with the exact same water hose that caused this goddamn shit in the first place. I said, listen, now let's analyze this situation. Do y'all know how thick and heavy water hoses are? Go outside right now to your front fucking yard. If you live in an apartment, bitch, go to the leasing office or to the, bitch, I don't know. Go to a, if you in a store, bitch, go to the water hose department. Pick up a water hose. <laughs> the ones that's coiled up, pick that shit up. I guarantee you're going to be like, yeah, shit, God. Okay, okay, bitch, bitch, do y'all know how heavy and thick water hoses are? Do you understand <laughs> the anger that was inside of my mama for her to not only pick the water hose up, but bend it into the fucking shape of a goddamn belt? I said, well, look at you, bitch. You doing origami out this bitch, ain't you? She got motherfucking twisted that shit up like a goddamn animal balloon or some shit. I said, ah, oh, yeah. Uh, Water hose, Jesus. Yes, I I know I was up here earlier. And I was yelling at you, but I'm back. And this time I'm back because, you know, when you gave me the last redo, just, can I come in? Bitch, over with. My mama beat my ass with that water hose. I said, oh, you strong, bitch. You, you strong. <laughs> that's the only thing that's going through my head. I said, fuck this ass whooping. You're strong. Because, bitch, when I was playing with that water hose, I had two hands on it. Maybe because I'm little and I was a child at the point. But, bitch, no, even now, being a grown-ass woman, I still be like, yeah, damn, the motherfucking water hose got some power, don't it, bitch? Damn, y'all. Yeah. Got my ass beat with the same water hose that caused all that shit in the first place. And, you know, she took me back in the house. She gave me a bath. She made me get dressed all over again. Bitch, I don't remember what we were doing that day. Because I remember after... After she got me dressed again, I put my, I, I got my legs on that couch. Nap time. <laughs> Nappy poo. Fuck is he talking about? I went to sleep on that goddamn couch. And I just remember I woke up. I was in that big ass van. And we were at a restaurant. <laughs> you know, as a kid, every time you would go to sleep, you would wake up somewhere magical. Like, that shit was like, <laughs> bitch, wake up happy. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese. Like, bitch, I went to sleep in my bed. Now I'm at Chuck E. Cheese. Like, <laughs> you know, little kids be doing dumb shit. <laughs> bitch that was me went to sleep on the couch woke up in the van boom i'm at the restaurant dressed hair done again I said fuck <laughs> did i learn my lesson no because i always got my ass beat i didn't stop getting whoopings until i was like 15 so yeah that's it for the story time that was my worst ass whooping that was my worst ass whooping because once i hit 15 i'm not gonna say i started fighting back but I kind of like, I used to be like, hey, chill out. <laughs> like, cause like my parents are older. Like I say, like my daddy is like 66 and my mom was like 64. I don't know. My parents are very, they're very older. So, you know, when I graduated high school, they was like, 
Now I'm not gonna say they was old, but they were old. <laughs> and you know, it's just some shit. It's just some shit. Once you hit a certain age, you're just like, I'm not doing this shit no more. Like, and my parents, they both had that same mindset. Like, they was like, I'm not beating you no more. Like, you you grown. Like, if if you're gonna be hard headed, bitch, we gonna let you. We gonna let you feel that shit on your own. Like, if you do something stupid, that's on your ass. I don't give a fuck. So you know, once I hit a certain age, I was just like, hey, chill out. Like, stop hitting me. Like, I remember. <laughs> Like, not even on no disrespectful shit, because I know somebody probably gonna comment in the comments and be like, you're so disrespectful to your parents. No, bitch, I'm grown, and I feel like black people overdo a lot of shit. So I remember one time I got to my daddy, and he was dead ass, he was beating me, like, he was whooping me. Like, bitch, I, at this time, y'all, I had titties, like, titties big. And I'm like, why is my daddy hitting me? Like, I, like, mm-mm, it's just certain shit, I feel like it just shouldn't happen, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially being a girl. So I'm like, bitch... I'm big like I'm not big but I'm big you get what I'm saying like I'm not a little girl anymore so it's just certain shit I used to be like no like <laughs> nigga you're beating me like this is not a whooping this is not discipline now right now you're beating me so I'm I told him I said hey chill out like <laughs> I said that shit loud my mama looked at me my daddy looked at me he said what the fuck I said chill out like, my brother got in front of me he said like watch out watch out they started pushing my daddy out of the room i said period because what the fuck like i don't know y'all but yeah that was it for my worst ass whooping story time i hope you enjoyed it if you didn't bitch i don't give a fuck get off my youtube moral like of I the story you guys do i feel like black people overdo it when it comes to discipline yes and no i feel like i feel like a lot of shit stems from anger and i feel like a lot of shit like a lot of us grow up getting treated a certain way and we feel like oh it didn't make me you know it didn't make me feel some type of way so i'm gonna carry on that same thing to with my kids i'm gonna do that to my kids bitch no i just get my ass toe up from the flow up i'm not doing that with my kids i can't because you know i feel like a lot of people beat on their kids because you don't have patience like with little kids you have to be fucking patient little kids are stupid <laughs> we, we all been around some little kids little kids will piss you the fuck off because they just they just don't know how to act they're stupid they lack common sense it's a lot of shit that they do you just be like why the fuck would you do that and you know as an adult all that builds up on top of bills on top of your boss pissing you off at work the, the other bitch at work pissing you off your wife or your husband not fucking you all that comes out and you just <laughs> they're just like Mm, it's not your child's fault it's your fault relax <laughs> so you know i feel like like i said i feel like it depends on the situation as well now if i come home and i done found out my child is fucking in my house and you're only goddamn 12 i'm beating some i'm beating some i i can't because bitch why are you having sex as young so feel like black people we are not good at verbally solving issues you get what i'm saying um I feel like a lot of black parents, you cannot talk to them because they feel like they know fucking everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's for like the younger parents, but I know with my parents, since they're so much older than me, they feel like they know fucking everything. And when I be trying to tell them certain shit, they still don't listen. So, you know, like I said, I can't tell somebody how to raise their kids. That's not my kid. I didn't carry it. I didn't push it out. Fuck them kids. But Taco, I will not be beating my children. I can't. I don't see no point. You're not an animal. You're not a slave i don't want to beat you i really want to sit down and be able to understand where my kids are coming from because growing up that's all i wanted i wanted to be able to sit down and really express my issues express my pain express why i'm mad why i'm sad why i'm acting out like this and you know i couldn't do that with my fucking parents so that's why a lot of the anger that i have is like so built up because bitch i can't talk to my parents who the fuck am i gonna talk to if you can't go to bella noches where the hell could you go like <laughs> so you know but it's okay Taco learning now, you know. I know I'm grown as fuck, but it's never too late to learn. It's never too late to learn from your mistakes. It's never too late to, you know, switch shit, make shit better, you know. All that, all that, you know, all that is all that, and that's that on that, period. So, you know, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I don't give a fuck. Suck my dick. All right. <laughs>